very important technique or one very important aspect that we need to understand in an LCO or an operation of a TIP is we need to have a lot of joints. The main cable would be 12 fiber or a higher capacity fiber which is being pulled through the electric post over, uh, over the whole locality. But for giving connections, giving individual connections to a particular uh, residential area or a particular uh, by lane, we need to have uh, we need to cut the cable, uh, cut the cable, and we need to make joints uh, to that main cable. For that, actually, we need not cut. We need not. It's not required to cut the complete cable as such, because in introducing joints means you have more losses being introduced to the cable. So. In, uh, without cutting the whole cable, there is a technology, there is a technique called mid-span removing technique by which actually we can uh, just avoid cutting the whole cable. We need to cut a single cable or a, I mean, a single cable or two fiber, just uh, uh, only that much which is required and that cable can be uh, joined to the uh, branch. So uh, we are actually saving the other cable from being cut. So that technology, that technique is called mid-span removing technique. Actually it's not a technology, it's only a technique that has been developed through years of experience of these uh, people who are, who are working in BSNL. So in order to explain the mid-span removing technique of optical fiber, I have with me two executives, two staff of BSNL. Uh, I have with me Mr. Ajidan, who is a JTO working in Trishur uh, business area of Kerala state. And Mr. Kumaran, he is uh, working as a telephone mechanic in transmission maintenance department of again Trishur business area. So uh, I would like them, I would request them to explain the mid-span removing technique of uh, optical fiber. This is a uh, typical joint that you can find inside in the outdoor network of a TIP. Uh, as we have just shown, uh, there is a mid-span removal technique being employed for inserting the cable into the joint. You can see both the incoming cable and the outgoing cable are both entering uh, the joint closure through the same hole. The, on the other side, you can see this is the cable that is going towards the distribution side, that is towards the customer side. So we have all the three cables inside the joint. In this particular case, we are only cutting a single fiber of the joint. You can see only the blue cable that is the first cable is only being cut and that is joined towards uh, both side of that uh, blue cable is jointed to a pigtail each that is on a pigtail on the incoming side as well as on the outgoing side this is the pigtail that is coming to the uh, that is uh, connected to the incoming side and this is the pigtail that is coming to the coming to the outgoing side and uh, this one is going towards the customer side we can see now we can see how uh, we can connect a 1 is to 99 coupler into this particular joint where the one percentage power is going towards the customer side and uh, 99 percentage power is going towards the uh, farther side towards the other side of the cable now we will see how we can connect uh, the coupler to this particular joint we have a 1 is to 99 coupler we have a single fiber in the input side that we are connecting to the uh, cable that is coming from the OLT. This is the cable that is coming from the OLT. Like this we are connecting just simply inserting this we can connect the cable to the uh, input side. On the downlink side we have two fibers uh, in the coupler one side one percent side and the 99 percent side. So the one percent the 99 percent side is going towards the other end of the main cable. So this one we can connect to the other end of the main cable. This is the cable that is going towards the farther side. You can simply connect that uh, just like this. 
so the 99% power 99% power is going towards the other side of the joint straight now we have the uh, cable with the 1% uh, power that we have to uh, employ a splitter here we have to connect a splitter to this particular point and then we have to uh, um, connect to the particular customer for connecting the splitter we have to connect a connector like this okay. this is a 1 is to 4 splitter again we have uh, one particular one cable on one side and there is four cables uh, four cables on the other side to this particular input of where we are connecting the one percent power we are connecting the input of the splitter now we have four cables on the downlink side of that which will split that particular power and we can connect one of those fibers to the cable that is going towards the customer like this I mean this is how a particular joint is uh, assembled inside.